Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mary, Janelle, and Christine discuss wedding styles in the Sister Wives teaser for the upcoming episode. From Cody Brown, the three have parted ways. As a result, they have discussed their ideal wedding and ring designs in the event that they remarry. To learn more about this, continue reading. Mary and Janelle discuss remarrying. Mary and Janelle discuss getting remarried in the teaser. They haven't given this much thought, because their separations are still recent. Janelle disclosed that she would like to get married in jeans on top of a mountain, and have a simple gold band. Her ideal wedding would be really modest. Mary mentioned that she liked diamonds with a square cut, but she's never given much more than that much thought. The thought of getting married again soon is just too much for her to handle. Preview of Sister Wives, Christine Shops for Rings Christine and David went ring shopping in the Sister Wives teaser. She expressed her feelings over remarrying. I only know what I like. I have no notion what's trendy, popular, or modern. Specifically, it's the diamond shape, followed by a variety of metal colors. I'm leaning more in that direction lately. The emphasis is supposed to be on the family not on you, when you are a plural wife. Christine continued by talking about how she didn't have a lavish wedding, and how she now desires one. She desires to be the center of attention. Christine desires a bridal shower, a bachelorette party, a wedding shower, and every other event associated with a conventional wedding. Since she is no longer with Cody, fans are pleased to see Christine achieving her goals in life. Christine seemed to be the only one considering getting married again. Mary and Janelle were adamant that it would be a long time before it happened. Right now, Mary was unable to even comprehend the concept of being married again. Janelle would want to get married in her jeans on top of a mountain, while Christine wants all the amenities that come with a typical wedding. The upcoming episode is eagerly anticipated by fans. How did you feel about their wedding styles and the preview? Comment below with your thoughts. It appears that Janelle Brown has moved on from her ex-husband Cody. However, why hasn't TLC produced a sequence in which they are reconciling? There have been sequences on Sister Wives in recent seasons where Christine and Cody, as well as Cody and Mary, come to terms with their marriage's demise. However, there had not previously been a scenario like this including Janelle. What's happening? Is Janelle Brown's marriage ending and she needs closure? Fans of Sister Wives may still clearly recall Cody and Janelle's furious Christmas altercation. They haven't, however, had a formal on-screen it's over conversation. Does anyone else think that Janelle and Cody should have a formal breakup scene? One last, this is really over conversation. He and Christine filmed one. Mary did two on multiple occasions thinking face. Additionally, the show appears to be lacking in content that it would be foolish to ignore. Don't you think? Or not? Recently, a Reddit member posted on the site. Few people believed that TLC probably had an episode planned about their breakup, even though other Sister Wives fans concurred that they would like to see one. Included were comments. She avoids confrontation. It is consistent with her personality to drift away. And since Cody enjoys conflict, it is most likely eating him up inside. What she is doing seems ideal to me. No cruelty is what Cody lives on. She ought to keep ignoring him. Even while I would love to see Janelle and Cody break up officially, the fact that she is basically ignoring him is killing him. I am available for it. The distinction is that, unlike Mary and Christine, Janelle doesn't appear to be in a situation where she needs that conversation. She probably wouldn't allow producers to pressure her into it either. Well done, she. The TLC personality seemed eager to move on with her life. Janelle Brown appears to be doing well and content right now. Over the past three weeks, she and Christine Brown have been doing interviews. Some fans even believe that Entertainment Tonight was trying them out for a new reality show that would be more like gossip. Janelle acknowledged in recent interviews that she hasn't spoken to Cody since their breakup. They haven't seen one other since they temporarily got back together in March to attend their son Garrison's funeral. She doesn't seem to need closure or to miss him. How do you feel about the sister wives conversation on the breakup of Cody and Janelle Brown? Do you think you would have enjoyed a scene of closure as well? Don't forget to share your own ideas 
and opinions in the comments section below. Every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, TLC airs the latest Sister Wives episode. For the most recent information and updates, continue to follow TV shows Ace Online. Janelle Brown, star of Sister Wives, was raised surrounded by Mormons or adherents of the LDS faith. The cast of The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives on Hulu, however, is unlike anything she has ever seen. What is Janelle's opinion on the show then? How do her opinions compare to those of other Mormon reality stars? Get the inside scoop by reading on. Janelle Brown of TLC seems inquisitive about Mormon wives' private lives. As a reality celebrity who practices polygamy, Janelle Brown has witnessed a variety of lives. However, she had never seen the cast of The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives before. Janelle told us weekly, I had to do the deep dive because I didn't know about them until this trip. I think, wow, I'm not familiar with Mormons. Within the confines of the LDS Church, The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives chronicles the struggles of friendship, marriage, and parenting for eight women. Some of the celebrities are more pious than others, though. During the first season of the show, some of the ladies acknowledged that they frequently disregarded the rules on alcohol and premarital sex. The Sister Wives star went on to say, The Mormons I know are so conservative. They are really traditional and salt of the soil. These women are not conventional. Christine and Janelle Brown Woolley acknowledged that they didn't want to pass judgment on the women, though. They might even become friends with some of the cast members in the future. They just find it fascinating how different their lives are. Especially now that Hulu has announced that the series will get a second season. It's thrilling, Christine added. My goal is to meet them. I'm merely stating. The new Hulu show seems to interest other Mormon reality stars. The Arnold sisters are among the professional dancers on Dancing with the Stars, who also practice LDS. According to Lindsay Arnold, she did know a lot of the cast members and had no bad experiences with any of them. Ezra Sosa, a dancer, expressed his desire to be a part of the cast. We're from Utah and we're Mormon, so we saw that and I thought, facts sis, Ezra told people. Has the secret lives of Mormon wives caught your attention? How did you feel about it? Contribute your own ideas and opinions to the discussion. For additional Sister Wives news and updates, make sure to follow TV shows Ace Online. Watch the latest episode of Season 19 on TLC this Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Janelle Brown, star of Sister Wives, commented on the secret lives of Mormon wives on Hulu and acknowledged that she finds the characters fascinating. In an interview with Us Weekly that was released on Thursday, October 31st, Janelle 55 stated, I had to do the deep dive because I didn't know about them until this trip. I think, wow, I'm not familiar with Mormons. Having spent her entire life surrounded by Mormons, Janelle claimed that the Hulu actors behave differently from other Mormons she has seen. For instance, discussions regarding sex toys, children conceived outside of marriage, and a swinger scandal were all covered in the first season. Janelle went on, the Mormons I know are really conservative. They are really traditional and salt of the soil. These women are not conventional. Janelle and Christine Brown expressed their excitement for season two of The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives, despite being taken aback by the celebrities' actions. Christine 52 described the show's renewal as exciting. My goal is to meet them. I'm merely stating. Season one debuted on Hulu in September, and on October 3rd, the streaming site formally announced that it would return for a second season. Can hashtag mom talk survive this? Was a philosophical issue posed in season one dot without a doubt? The answer is yes. Prepare your dirty sodas for spring 2025. In a news statement at the time, Rob Mills, executive vice president, unscripted and alternative entertainment, Walt Disney Television, stated as much. Jen Affleck, Demi Ingeman, Whitney Levitt, Michaela Matthews, Maisai Neely, Jessine Gattacora, Taylor Frankie Paul, and Layla Taylor were among the cast members of season one. Even though season one featured some intense conflict, all of the original cast members anticipate returning for season two. Season 19 of Sister Wives is currently showing viewers Janelle and Christine's problems with their ex-husband Cody Brown. Janelle and Christine are no strangers to drama on reality television. In November 2021, 
Christine decided to dissolve her spiritual marriage to Cody, 55, and Janelle did the same in December 2022. In January 2023, Mary Brown also announced that she and Cody were no longer together. Robin Brown, whom Cody married in 2014, is his only surviving wife. After she and Cody parted ways, Christine moved on and fell in love with David Woolley. Following a brief courtship, the couple became engaged in April 2023 and married in October of the same year, a mere six months later. The mother of six shared one of her main reservations about entering into a monogamous relationship in an interview with Us Weekly. The day before we moved in together, I was a little anxious. She said, I had never lived with a guy full-time before. However, we jumped right into life together. Christine claimed that she was made for monogamy in spite of the worry. As she reflected on her marriage to David, 60, she remarked, I didn't know that we could both accomplish and do everything that we want to do, but just better than we've ever done before. It's simply incredible how having someone by your side improves you as a person. It's amazing to me. Jim Bob and Cody Brown are once again in the news due to some grave accusations. In Sister Wives and Counting On, they are now charged with taking advantage of their family because they wanted the money to come in. Fans think that these two ended up abusing their families to gain notoriety on TLC. That's not all, though. The narrative goes well beyond that. What is the point of this? Were Jim and Cody truly taking advantage of their families? Why are they being accused of exploitation by fans? Learn some startling facts regarding these claims by reading on. Is Sister Wives star Cody just like Counting on star Jim Bob? Counting on and Sister Wives are two of the most popular franchises that TLC has ever carried. The turbulent dynamics between the Browns and Duggars were documented by both of them. Jim Bob and Cody Brown both had large families. And maybe in order to avoid financial hardship, they chose to highlight their problems on national television. Fans are well aware of Cody and Jim's financial hardships prior to their appearance on reality TV. Michael T., the former's daughter, has spoken about the period when her family was unable to even afford nutritious food. The Browns were forced to rely on bakery scraps as a result. However, Jill Duggar also asserted that prior to their performance, her family mostly ate frozen burritos, ramen noodles, and canned beans. Did Jim Bob and Cody Brown take advantage of their sister wives and counting on families? In recent years, Jim Bob and Cody Brown have been accused of a number of things. Many of their children said that their fathers kept their TLC money in their own pockets, instead of giving it to them. As a result, even after spending years on the sister wives and counting on show, the star kids claim to have been financially abused. Jim Bob and Cody Brown are accused of controlling their family's finances and not sharing any of it. That's not all, though. Both of them made every effort to enforce tight regulations and govern their families with iron fists. They were prepared to desert anyone who disobeyed them and expected their wives and children to abide by their laws. They carried out this action under the name of the Institute of Basic Life Principles, also known as the Apostolic United Brethren, or AUB. But now, it seems like Cody and Jim's reality TV careers are about to take a nosedive. It seems that TLC has already canceled counting on following the revelation of Jill's Tell All Book and Josh Duggar's criminal history. It seems like Cody's turn now though. He has also been charged with pursuing his ex-wives emotionally and financially. As a result, there's a good chance they might take them to court at any time. In addition, Cody has already tried her viewers' patience, and they're fed up. For this reason, they are advocating for sister wives to be cancelled, or at the very least, for the network to cut out Cody and Robin's plot from the show. Maddie Brush, Nay Brown, a sister wives star, disclosed that her father Cody Brown was upset that she lived with her husband Caleb Brush prior to their marriage. On Wednesday, October 30th, Maddie 28, posted a teaser for the podcast The Authentic Society on Instagram, saying, my dad had a lot to say, a lot of guidance. Cody, 55, was vocal about Maddie saving herself for marriage, according to her co-host Jamie Bride Langley, who also noted, obviously, you can assume if somebody's living together, you're not saving yourself. Maddie told her co-host, I called him and told him. She also said that her mother, Janelle Brown, 
didn't care that the couple lived together prior to marriage. Maddie and Cody's relationship appears to have changed in the past few years after his 2023 breakup with the 55-year-old Janelle. Cody and his wife, Robin Brown, talked about the 18-year-old father's strained relationship with many of his children in the October 6th episode of the show. The patriarch maintained that his children didn't want ties with him, despite Robin, 45, urging him to try harder with the children he shares with ex-wives Mary Brown, Christine Brown, and Janelle. Regarding his relationship with Maddie, Cody asserted, Every time I talk to her, she spreads gossip about me to the rest of the family. The gossip killed our family. The Wyoming native further stated that Maddie was one of his elder children that shunned him during Logan Brown's 2022 wedding. He said to Robin, 46, They're deliberately excluding me from their lives in order to punish me for a crime I didn't commit. The only thing I did wrong was not fall deeply in love with their mothers. Janelle expressed her belief that Cody was mistaken about Maddie. She claimed that Cody has a story about Madison, in which she is a major gossip while he is equally so. Maddie posted a mysterious statement on social media the day after the program aired, perhaps criticizing her father for accusing her of causing strife in their family. A piece of advice she wrote. On October 7th, the post stated, Never refriend or refamily, someone who has attempted to undermine your integrity, character, or relationships with others. To get larger, a snake simply sheds its skin. Allow others to become victims and turn away from you as a result. Eventually, the snake will bite them as well. Since then Maddie, who resides in North Carolina with her spouse, has disassociated herself from the drama. In 2015, Maddie and 37-year-old Caleb became engaged, and the two were married the following year. The pair made it clear early on that they would not follow in Maddie's parents' footsteps and that they would not engage in polygamy before they were married. They were determined to pave their own way. Caleb stated to People in September 2015, We are not living plural marriage. We support Maddie's family's decision to live in multiple marriages, and they support our decision to simply get married to one another. Christine Brown Willie is going too far this season, according to recent criticism from Sister Wives viewers. Some believe she is going too far while others are thrilled to see her figuring things out after having such a controlling relationship with Cody Brown. She has recently come under fire for her frequent public demonstrations of love for David Woolley. Fans are now rather worried about her after spotting yet another warning sign. What's going on with Woolley, Christine Brown? Christine Brown Woolley's excessive PDA has recently left many Sister Wives viewers in shock. She is undoubtedly smitten with her current spouse, David Woolley. Her family is definitely shocked by how fast the relationship is progressing after she and Cody Brown were married for over 25 years. Some admirers, however, believe that Christine may be seriously ill. Are fans worried about Christine Brown? Fans of Sister Wives talk about Christine Brown Woolley's lack of boundary awareness on Reddit. Initially, a user asks, am I the only one who found this strange? They go on to say, I don't know, maybe it's just the whole PDA thing but the more I watch, the less I like Christine. However, the user expresses serious concerns about Christine, asking, why did she just touch this lady's hair at random? Even if a stranger had anything in their hair, I would never simply touch them. What do we believe is going on with Christine? When it comes to ignoring her children's feelings in favor of her new relationship, I think she's changed a lot. I wanted to know what you guys thought, even if it's an unpopular opinion. That's what I love about this sub, a fan remarks. Everybody has their own keen sense of what is sensitive to them. I did realize at this point that I dislike being touched by strangers. I couldn't see anything until I rewinded it to see what was so annoying that she had to do that. Not close to her mouth, just an errant strand of hair. Although I can understand her good intentions, I would have been very offended. But you make a really good point. I'm like, what? When people bring up certain things, why? Admirers talk about her behavior. The majority of admirers believe that Christine Brown Woolley's actions stem from compassion, even though some people wish she would ask before touching someone else. She is unquestionably living life anew with David Woolley, and all she wants is to savor the experience. Numerous followers offer their opinions. This is my position as well. 
I'm neutral but can appreciate your SO's wish to be publicly desired, which she was denied for nearly the whole duration of their relationship. Although it's embarrassing, she had to conceal moments that most people take for granted for decades. I understand. I simply moved on and fast-forwarded. Yes, that made me grimace, but I know people who do that, and it's out of concern. Hee <laughs> hee. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people touch my hair. I would never touch someone without their consent, yes. However, I believe it was merely an impulse, because she most likely fixes her daughter's hair constantly. Christine acted impulsively to assist the woman, whose hair appeared to be entangled in her lip gloss. Simply put, Christine is an extrovert whose filter keeps coming off. It was done for the right reasons. Other than the fact that she has found happiness, I don't believe anything is happening with Christine. Even though I don't share her choices, I don't blame her for being happy. She deserves it after spending decades with the human pleasure sponge. According to some, Christine Brown was charming. While some viewers were put off by Sister Wives star Christine Brown Woolley's behavior, others thought her helpfulness was charming. One admirer can relate to Christine Brown's perspective. I just saw it as an impulsive mommy move, they say. It was a little awkward. But I believe that everyone has experienced situations like this where they act impulsively out of love and concern, think about it too much at night, and then feel ashamed and wish they hadn't rolling on the floor laughing. This is 100% true. I respect physical autonomy and personal space, but I won't lose my cool if someone carelessly touches me while telling a hilarious anecdote or yanks a stray hair off my shirt. Actually, I think it's cute. Woman shrugging. I'm a tag tucker myself, says another. Another person adds, if you see me in public, please tuck my tag in, because I never notice lol. Particularly, while I'm being videotaped on television. Whatever embarrassing thing is happening with my face, hair, or clothes, please repair it. Just like this. How many years has she been on television? They probably do it to each other all the time. So it's probably simply habit. I don't think this is worth posting though. Indeed, it sounded like helping a novice on camera. It struck me as being quite kind. How do you feel about Christine Brown Woolley caressing someone else's hair without their consent? Is it a huge deal in your opinion? Do you find her recent behavior concerning? Are you anticipating a new Sister Wives episode? Please leave a remark below. Sister Wives Bombshell Christine Brown Woolley sues Cody Brown for child support, custody, and paternity rights of daughter Truly. Court date set for December. Introduction. Inside the Sister Wives legal drama, Christine Brown's fight for Truly, the Sister Wives drama has spilled from TV screens to the courtroom. Cody Brown, patriarch of the Sister Wives clan, is now facing a lawsuit filed by his ex-wife, Christine Brown Woolley, over child support, custody, and paternity issues involving their daughter, Truly Brown. The pair's tumultuous split has kept TLC fans on their toes. And now, with Christine standing her ground for Truly's rights, the stakes have never been higher. A case management conference is scheduled for December, and fans are buzzing with anticipation. Dive into the details of this unfolding saga as we explore the lawsuit, the court battle, and what's at stake for Cody, Christine, and their daughter Truly. The root of the legal battle, Christine Brown's fight for Truly's rights. Christine and Cody Brown's journey together has been anything but typical. They share six children, including Truly, but have faced complex family dynamics within their polygamous marriage. Christine's decision to end her relationship with Cody made headlines, but the issues between them go deeper than just romantic fallout. Fans learned recently that Truly, born in April 2010, was never listed on her father's birth certificate. This missing legal document has created significant hurdles for Truly's rights and Christine's role as her mother, leading her to pursue this lawsuit. By seeking clarity on paternity and child support, Christine is doing more than protecting her daughter's future. She's holding Cody accountable. Cody's response to the lawsuit, what we know so far. When Cody submitted his response to Christine's lawsuit, TLC fans were eager to hear what he had to say. However, since Truly is a minor, most of the documentation is sealed. Legal experts say that Cody's response could address his relationship with Truly, his financial responsibilities, or both. But so far, only the attorneys and court officials have access to the details. 
The secrecy surrounding the case has only fueled speculation, with many fans believing this lawsuit could significantly affect Cody's financial responsibilities toward Truly and potentially shift the family's dynamics even further. Court date set. The December hearing that could change everything. The case management conference scheduled for December 18th is a pivotal moment for both Christine and Cody. Court proceedings like these often set the stage for what's to come, from custody agreements to financial settlements. While Cody won't need to be there in person, as the hearing will be virtual, this doesn't diminish the importance of the day. Fans are anxiously awaiting updates, as the conference may reveal key developments in the custody battle and potentially address the unresolved paternity questions. Truly Brown's unique place in the family and why fans love her. Truly Brown has become a fan favorite on Sister Wives, thanks to her fun-loving personality, maturity, and resilience. Christine's youngest daughter has endured much more than most kids her age, including a serious health scare in her early years with kidney failure and dehydration. Now a teenager, Truly is known for her love of reading, her academic dedication, and her passion for putting on family skits and performances. Fans appreciate Truly's authenticity, which she brings to every scene she's in. Some suspect that Truly might even pursue theater or drama as she grows older. Since her mom's marriage to David Woolley, Truly has adapted well to her extended family life, blending seamlessly with David's children and bringing her trademark sense of humor and creativity to family gatherings. Why paternity questions matter? What happens if Cody isn't on Truly's birth certificate? One of the most pressing questions raised by Christine's lawsuit is Cody's absence from Truly's birth certificate. In cases like this, paternity can impact everything from custody rights to inheritance laws. For Truly, establishing a clear legal relationship with Cody may open doors that otherwise would be closed. Christine's legal action underscores how crucial this issue is, not just for Truly's well-being, but for ensuring she has the same rights and recognition as her siblings. Fans of the show have shown immense support for Christine's fight, rooting for her to win what they see as a fair and just outcome for Truly. The financial factor, why child support is central to Christine's case. The issue of child support is at the core of Christine's lawsuit. TLC fans have witnessed the financial strain Christine has faced since her separation from Cody. While she's built a new life in Utah with David Woolley, Christine believes Cody still has a financial obligation to Truly. Some fans feel that Cody's reluctance to provide child support contradicts his claims of wanting to be an involved father. For Christine, the lawsuit is a way to secure Truly's future, ensuring she receives the resources and support she deserves as Cody's child. Cody Brown's shifting relationship with his kids. Does Truly stand alone? Cody's relationship with his children has evolved throughout the Sister Wives series, but in recent seasons, fans have noticed a growing divide. The Brown family's complex structure, coupled with Cody's shifting focus, has left some children feeling distant from him. Truly's unique position, being the only child of Christine still at home, means she has an even closer bond with her mother. This, in turn, has deepened the separation between Truly and Cody. Fans wonder if this lawsuit will encourage Cody to take a more active role in Truly's life or instead, solidify the distance between them. Will the court drama affect the Sister Wives show? Fans are curious whether this custody and child support dispute will play out on Sister Wives. But the court has reportedly ruled that no filming will be allowed during the proceedings. However, the impact of this legal battle is likely to resonate through future seasons, especially as the family navigates the fallout from Christine and Cody's split. The lawsuit could also open up discussions within the Brown family, prompting other wives or children to reflect on their own relationships with Cody. Truly's new life with Christine and David Woolley, a fresh start? Since her mother's remarriage, Truly has adjusted to a new family dynamic. David Woolley's family has embraced her, and Christine frequently shares glimpses of their blended family's happiness. Truly has bonded well with her step-siblings, and has even taken an active role in family activities, like Halloween baking. Christine's efforts to provide Truly with a stable, happy environment are evident, but fans recognize that Cody's involvement is still a critical part of Truly's life. The question remains. 
Will this lawsuit lead to more clarity and peace for Truly, or deepen the divide between her and Cody? The public's response. Fans weigh in on Christine's lawsuit. Fans have taken to social media to voice their support for Christine, praising her bravery for standing up to Cody. Many feel that Cody has neglected his responsibilities as a father, and that Christine's actions are necessary to ensure Truly's well-being. The comments reflect a groundswell of support. At SW Fam Forever, Christine is doing what's best for Truly. Cody needs to step up and support his child. At Reality Revealed, the fact that Truly's rights were overlooked is heartbreaking. Christine's doing what any good mom would do. At Team Christine, Cody has avoided responsibility for too long. Time to take care of Truly like she deserves. The fan base has largely sided with Christine, hoping the court will rule in her favor to secure a stable future for Truly. What's next for Cody and Christine Brown's legal battle? As the December hearing approaches, Anticipation builds around what the court's rulings will mean for both Cody and Christine. The conference may bring to light long-awaited details about child support, paternity, and custody arrangements. Whatever the outcome, this legal battle is bound to reshape the Brown family dynamic. Will justice for truly prevail? The future of the sister-wives' family hangs in the balance. Christine Brown's determination to seek justice for her daughter has struck a chord with fans who see her as a champion for Truly's rights. This lawsuit isn't just about financial support. It's about a mother's commitment to ensuring her child is protected and valued. As the court date nears, fans are rallying behind Christine, hoping this case will secure Truly's future and, perhaps, inspire Cody to take a more active role in his youngest daughter's life.